The chip select logic for a certain DRAM chip in a memory system design is shown below. Assume that the memory system has 16 address lines denoted by A15 to A0. What is the range of the addresses in hexadecimal of the memory system that can get enabled by the chip select signal? So this is a question coming from digital logic section. In the question they have given us that we have a particular signal called chip select which is given here and this chip select signal is getting generated by this particular AND gate. Okay. To this AND gate we are giving the signals A15, 14, 13, 12, 11 as input and see this memory system has 16 address lines denoted by A15 to A0. So from A15 to A0 we have 16 address lines which I have denoted here 15, 14, 13, 12, 11 up to A0 here and among these 5 of these A15, A14, 13, 12 and 11 is being input to this AND gate. Now whenever CA signal is 1 it will be enabled and they are asking for which all addresses the signal will be enabled. Now for the signal to be enabled all the inputs should be 1. See this is an AND gate. So an AND gate will be having an output 1 if all the input is 1. So if you look here signals A15, A14 and A11 are being input in the true form to the AND gate which means that A15, A14 and A11 should be 1 and also A13 and A12 is being in input in the complement form here which means that A13 and A12 should be 0 which will make the complement 1 and only then the input to the AND gate will be 1 in that case. So which means that A15, A14 and A11 should be 1 and A13 and A12 should be 0. They should be 0 because the complement of that is being given as the input to the AND gate. So when A15, 14, 13, 12, 11 takes the form 1, 1, 0, 0, 1 only in that case the AND gate will be enabled and the signal CS will be 1. Now for the signal CS to be 1, A15 to 11 should take these values only and A10 to A0 can take any value. Whatever value A10 to A0 take that doesn't matter because we are not giving it as input to the AND gate. Input to the AND gate is only A15 to A11. So A15 to A11 we have to keep it constant at this value. A10 to A0 can take any value. Now among that the smallest value will be when A10 to A0 is all zeros and the largest value will be when A10 to A0 is all in one forms. So whatever value comes in between for all that the chip cell signal will still be active. So we will be keeping this in 11001 and when A10 to A0 is all zeros we will see what the address will be. The address will be in hexadecimal right so we take 4 bits we couple together and find out the hexadecimal digit so initially it is 1100 that will be C when it is all zeros A10 to A0 is all zero the next di next digit will be 1000 1000 is 8 after that all zeros will be 0 0 only so this is the lowest address for which the chip seller signal will be active and the largest address will be we keep 11001 same so this is C the rest is 1111 that is F and the next 8 will be all ones that is FF so this signal is CFFF so the largest address is CFFF so the range of the address is from C800 to CFFF that is given in option B